Hello, my name is Justin Brightup, and today we're going to be looking at a bike lock um, for my bike. Now, the interesting thing is it's it's called a Ted Jim, and they call it a bike clock blue, and I don't know why they call it a black, uh, bike clock. I don't know if it was a translation error or what, but it has an extra feature that most bike locks don't have, and that is that it lights up. So let's unbox this thing and check it out. So this one... It's supposed to be blue, and it's supposed to have a thing that you put on your bike that attaches to your bike so that you can just quick release and all this sort of stuff. And uh, I think I think actually it, it uh, it's supposed to just be a holder so that it goes along with you, so you don't have to you don't have to you know carry it or whatever, or put it in a basket. Um, so you can mount it somewhere on your bike and then take it off and lock your bike up. And anyway, it. Uh, it's uh, supposed to light up. It has a four deal combination. Let's see if I can. Oh, here it is. Okay, so we'll get this out. Got another product here for another video. We'll stick it somewhere. This is going to be awesome, I think. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'll toss that there. Hopefully, I can find it. Put that over there. And we'll get a picture of this bad boy right here. So, let's get this turned on. Move this over. All right, and we got uh, there. We go. So now we'll take a picture. Oh goodness, I. You know, I I like doing this stuff because oh the light already works cool. I like doing this stuff because you know it's supposed to get my mind off of other things and try to keep me from you know being stressed out about terrible horrible things that go on around me in this town and this week it's just not working it's just not working you know i i've been having to pray a lot more and turn stuff over to god but anyway here's this bike lock and we're going to take another picture of it there we go and um yeah it's definitely made in a foreign country it says it doesn't say where it's made on the back or on the front, but there's definitely some uh, foreign lettering here on everything. I, so it's either it's some Asian country, I don't know. Okay, so let's let's get it open and we'll put it on my bike and try it out. Um, which is good because, like I say, my last bike I had as a mountain bike, it was it was stolen from me. I had it for a long time, and and it was stolen, and so I don't have a mountain bike right now. I have a single speed old-fashioned bicycle that I can use for short runs. I can't really use it for anything. It's supposed to be an electric bike, but I don't have any batteries for it. Um, I need lithium batteries. I need like a 36 or 48 volts, and I need a charger for it. So anyway, then I'd be doing a lot more, a lot more biking. Um, so this is the thing that goes on the bike, and they don't really have any instructions for it. Um, I guess I'll take a picture, but yeah, they don't have any instructions on the material here on how to install this. Um, so I'm just going to have to, you know, use some common sense, which is what I, I'm guessing they expect me to do. Um, and uh, let's see, I got to take a selfie with the item. And it, like I said, it lights up, so we'll, we'll turn the light on when I take a picture. And what's cool about the light in here, you push this little button, this lights up, the combination thing does, and then that way you can um, you can figure out um, how to, uh, what's it called? You can figure out how you're supposed to, um, you know, unlock it in the middle of the night. Now, there were instructions online, okay, to set it and to use. Great, so there's words at least on here. So... I'm, before I take this out to my bike, I'm going to try to set it, and I'm not going to show you guys a combination or anything like that, but let's see if I can do it. So, the original is set to 000, zero, zero is four digits. To set your own combination, please follow these steps. Pull up the reset button, one, picture B. So, there is a picture for that. Okay, I don't see a picture B. Uh, I see number one, though. So, number one shows taking this thing apart so we're going to take it apart like this i guess that's what we're supposed to do then it says what am i supposed to do number two turn the number dials to your desired combination and make sure the numbers are on 
the index line. Let's make sure I followed step number one. Pull up the reset button as in picture B. Okay, where is this reset button? It's just to pull up. It says, um, okay, so I guess they showed like sticking scissors or something in here and turning it. So I'm going to try, you're never supposed to use a knife for this, but I'm going to try to do it. So it says to turn it clockwise to reset. That's the arrow in here. And I'm not sure if I've got it turned far enough or not. Yeah. Um, I hope that works. Okay, so we'll see if it's, I hope it's resetting. Um, otherwise, maybe I need a big screwdriver. Okay, so now I'm going to try to set it to a combination, and we'll see if it works. So I'm going to set it to something. Uh, let me think. I need a four-digit code. Uh, let's try this. One, zero, zero, I don't know what. Okay. Okay, now, if that's set correctly, if the reset button worked, then I will be able to stick this back in, which I can't because it didn't work. So, you know what, I might be able to use this to do the trick. So let's turn it all back to zeros again. And I'll show you what I'm going to try to do to set this. So, because... In the picture on Amazon, it shows using scissors or something to, to keep to turn this. So I'm going to try using the key. So let's uh, stick it in here, and we're going to turn it. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. All right, right, I'll try it again here. Oh, yeah. Okay, now I should be able to set it to my desired code. So I'm going to set it to desired code here. And uh, let's see. Where did it go? There. Okay, now we're going to use the key to turn it back. Now, this, the instructions don't say to do it this way, but this is the way I'm doing it because I think it's going to work. Ah, now it works. Now my combination works. It's accepted. Sweet. Okay, so now I guess I might want to leave it that way while I'm messing with it. I don't know. And this is supposed to somehow be like some sort of quick release on here. I think... The way this works, I think I'm supposed to um, loosen this somehow or use a screwdriver. I think there's a screwdriver here. And, oh, no, you twist it. Okay, sweet. So you twist this, it comes off, and you put this around this thing, and it looks like you have to use a screwdriver to do that. And then you put this on the seat or somewhere, and then this attaches using this guy. So I'm going to need a screwdriver. I think I have one right here that might be the right size. So I might need a bigger one. Here we go. All right. See, I'm, I'm prepared for these videos now. I have batteries and screwdrivers and Bluetooth devices and all kinds of things on standby, um, you know, because I don't know what things are going to require, you know, some assembly required or whatever they say. Um, there, screws out. Now, again, I don't have any instructions, so I'm I'm guessing at how this works. And I, I'm going to... Okay, come on now. Come out of there. There we go. Come out from among them. Be separate and set apart to God. All right, so we're going to put this around here. That's what we want. And it looks like the nut fell out, which is okay. So before I put the nut back in, let's get this to go back into the little plastic. There we go. And we'll put the nut back in. Then we're going to screw the screw back in to the nut with the screwdriver. All right. Now, I should be able to put this back into here by twisting this, this knob here. There we go. Now it's on there. And it looks like, I mean, I don't know how much abuse this thing can take as far as shaking it around and stuff. Um, and going down the road, but this is supposed to hold on here, and you're supposed to be able to put this on your bike. Now, in case your bike seat shaft is too narrow, they have some insert spacing wedge things in here that you can put between here and there, and this all works with screwdriver as well. You can tighten it up with a screwdriver. So, 
uh, you can start, I guess, to start by loosening it, and then, um, well, it has to come apart. That's that's why. Okay, so the whole thing has to come apart. Might as well do it here over the table so that if the uh, nuts drop out, which I'm certain they will because of the other part of it, then uh, I won't lose them. Because if I were to do this outside, this is an important tip for you, if I were to do this outside right now, the nuts would be on the ground, and they're black, and you all know how that is. Because if you've got black nuts on the ground, you're not going to be able to find them very easy. And that's not being racist or anything against uh, African Americans. I'm just saying, I know it might sound funny, but, you know, um, the idea is, is that you're going to lose these if you drop them on the ground. So that's why I'm doing them on the table here. Because now I can put these, I can slip these back on so that I don't lose them, just like that. And then we'll take these out and we'll install this on the bike. Now this should help because I can I can actually um, I have metal beams around here that I can put my uh, tether my bike to, and then I won't have to worry about um, any kind of theft or anything. So that's that's a good deal. I mean I have security cameras and everything, but you never know what's going to happen around here. It, it's it's really you really just never know. It's it's a crazy place to live with drugs and all kinds of stuff going on. So. All right, so let's, uh, I guess I'll take a quick picture of this here on the table, and then we'll go out and install it. Oh, no, no more selfies. Come on now. Okay, and uh, we'll go out and install it. I still need a new phone. There's a bunch of other things I've been able to afford to get um, since I started doing this, but I definitely need a new phone. Okay, all right, so let's put this away. Go out and try this on the bike. We got the screwdriver, we got the nuts and the bolts, and this thing, and we're gonna go out and give it a shot. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and may Jesus bless you. Please check out the links in the description of this video. Welcome to another episode of Justin's Epic Amazing Reviews. Now, check this out. I've got over 14 packages that I'm supposed to be reviewing. I don't know how I'm going to get them all done today. But look at this. It just The packages, they just keep coming and coming and coming and i want them to keep coming so please keep sending your packages the address is in the description of this video